What's up guys? I'm uh, hanging out up here on a Saturday morning, doing some reading, stuff like that, uh, and decided, you know, it'd probably be a good time to make a review, even though, you know, I don't have a tripod, I don't have a microphone or anything, so I'm kind of just winging it. That's why the um, awkward selfie angle, but, you know, it just, it's been a while, so I wanted to uh, get up a quick review of an album that I've been loving lately, um, and that's Ars Magna Umbre's Apotheosis. So, I sort of stumbled across Ars Magna Umbre um, last year, not accidentally necessarily, but sort of serendipitously. I'd never heard of this band, never really heard anything about them. Um, and the promo came, courtesy of Heaviest of Art here. Uh, and I could just tell from the album art, from the general vibe, um, the names of the tracks, all that sort of stuff, that I was going to enjoy this record. So I checked it out, sure enough, loved it. Uh, I have a review of that record, it's called Lunar Ascension, up on Heaviest of Art. Um, if you have not heard it, you should check it out. It's phenomenal and um this dude it's a solo project and this dude has a really quick turnaround because he's released a new album already um uh, this year it's called apotheosis and if anything i think i like it a little more um it's really uh sort of more refined i guess in a way more potent um i think he's he took all the things that worked on the last record and uh you know winnowed it down to um just the bare bones of the band, the bare bones of what he wants out of the project, and it really works. It's um, this very, very majestic, um, imperious, you know, bombastic in a way. I could keep listing adjectives, but like at the end of the day, you just have to listen to it to get a vibe for it. But it's just this very, very like magical almost record, which I love. You know, that's what I love in my black metal. Um, definitely tend to lean more towards that side of the spectrum than the uh, like raw, punky stuff. Um, so this thing's eight tracks, I think it's a little over 40 minutes, probably close to 45 minutes, something like that, in that range. And uh, so it's very easy to just like sit down, listen to it all the way through and digest it. Um, and yeah, that's what I recommend doing for sure. Um, you know, there are standout tracks, or I guess tracks that I like more than the other tracks on the record, but it's, it's really meant to be listened to as a whole. Um, the, the use of dynamics, not only within the songs, but like between the songs is just truly phenomenal. This guy has a great ear, um, not only for, you know, riffs and melody, but for composition itself. Um, I guess something I really, really like about this band is how it's transportive, I guess is probably the best word for it. Um, it takes you to these really like dark, but sort of in an empowering way sort of place. Um, let me try to refine that sentiment so it makes more sense. Um, it, all of these songs sort of evoke this, like, this feeling of, like, being in the woods, performing some sort of ritual. Um, it's, you know, it's very magic, I, magical. I think it's clear that this dude is sort of interested in the occult, if not, like, outright active in the occult. Um, every, you know, it's, it's not your normal satanic fare. It seems very, like... Uh, black magic, um, chaos magic type stuff, which again, I really like. Um, I'm kind of tired of the, the whole satanic blasphemous trope. Um, it's, it's fun every once in a while, but it's been done to death. Um, and I, I like seeing musicians who seem to be genuinely interested in the occult rather than just trying to, uh, you know, play it up for shock value. And that's definitely the vibe I get from this record. I think this dude is certainly, certainly, uh, knowledgeable. Um, you know, with magical practices and stuff like that, and I think that's sort of what he's evoking with this record. And it works. It works fantastically. That's definitely the vibe I get. Um, so yeah, you know, it's transportive. Uh, really, really, really engaging. Um, you sort of, like, get lost in the music, for sure. Um, I guess another thing I, I've been meaning to do in my videos is, you know, do sort of, like, this band sounds like type segments. Um, the, the most obvious comparison for me is Ackley's, and if you've watched my Ackley's review, you know how much I fucking love that project. So uh, it, it's kind of a no-brainer that I would like this one too. Um, if you like Ackley's, definitely check this record out. If you like Ars Magna Umbre's old output, definitely check this record out. One last thing, one last thing I want to touch on. Uh, the I find myself being more and more, um, gravitating more and more towards solo projects as I get older. And, uh, you know, I don't necessarily think there's anything, like, romantic about the whole, like, one man making music thing. Um, 
I think for most people, it's just necessity. It's hard to find like-minded people or, you know, given quarantine uh, or just, you know, the state of the world right now, it's hard to get together and play music and write music with people. And I think that's the, uh, the power of a solo project is that you can, you can be one man, one woman, whatever, with a vision, and you can enact that vision, like, right away. And Ars Magna Umbre being a solo project is, I think, a prime exemplar of that because they've really got this, like, this heightened sense of, like, this is exactly what I want out of this, this music that I'm playing, and, um, you know, I'm going to focus on that and, uh, you know, to the exclu exclusion of everything else. And it works, you know, I think, um, God, I'm rambling, but, uh, I, I just think what I'm trying to get at here is that, um, you can tell when someone's artistic vision has been undiluted and that it's, it's, it's being presented in its most potent form for sure. And I think that is a, exactly what's happening with this record. So I will stop fucking spouting off, but, um, check this record out. If you've heard it, let me know what you think. If you check it out because of this review, also let me know what you think. Uh, and as always, I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, uh, and enjoying some good music. See you later.